Hi, thank you for joining us for today's video. Um, in this video, we're going to cover how to use the mass transaction, um, or um, specifically, we're going to use the MM17 transaction to go, to go directly to the uh, material master object type that we want to uh, maintain. And we're going to show how to do a file upload. So instead of doing mass changes and then um, uh, individually specifying the, the values manually, uh, we're going to upload a file that already has the value set that we want to change. Um, and what we're going to change in, in this demo is um, the authorization groups on, on 50 material masters. So let me show you how that would be done with a file upload. So we're going to go to uh, MM17. And again, that takes us directly to the uh, BUS1001 object type um, so that we can, uh, versus going through the mass transaction and selecting the object type. And now we're going to use this import data from file. And you can only do it for one table at a time. So in fact, uh, if you select multiple tables and say import data from file, you will get an error, uh, a message here um, that you can only do one table. All right, so, so that does not work. Um, so we're just going to do one table, the Mara table. And I've already got the file set up here. And um, uh, we're, again, I've got a list of 50 materials and uh, the authorization groups that we're going to set those to. Now, um, in the file, I have specified the technical names of the columns. So for material, um, I have specified, so I've got a header line. Um, I've specified Matner. Um, and then for the authorization group, I've purposely uh, mistyped the um, technical name of that column. Um, so that you can see that it's not going to find it. So here, the green tells me that it has been able to map this column and it knows where, where this goes uh, in Mara. Uh, but the blue diamond here tells me it's an unusable column because it doesn't recognize the name. Um, and uh, so if this happens and you get the blue diamond, and um, you see I've mistyped the name. I did B-E-G you are and it should have been are you so I'm, all you have to do is single click there and you can just simply go find that um, and you could you could type in the um, field description as well but if you realize that you've uh, what the mistake you've made you can just do it this way and then double click and you'll see that that gets that gets mapped so you're good to go you can see all the auth authorization groups that we're going to set these materials to and then I'm going to go ahead and continue all right, so I now see all the new values I'm going to set. If I want to go ahead and look at the ELB values, I can select that option. And, uh, and I can see a few. This first one here had a previous authorization group, but a bunch of them with blanks. Uh, I have a few more down here that had some authorization groups. But for the most part, I'm setting new authorization, authorization groups for all of these. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And we're going to let that run and get results back here in a second. And it's going ahead and saving the changes. And it is nearly done. It's about 75% of the way there. And we should see the results pop up here in a second. And there we go. Uh, no errors, no warnings, and it made 50 updates. And you can, so we can see green lights all the way down. And if I want to quickly, um, here, here's the table I had queried before. So you can see that the, uh, this is what the authorization groups were before. And I'll go ahead and refresh that. And you can see all the new authorization groups have been set. So um, file upload, really nice option. Um, and if you have not used that option before, it can definitely save you a lot of time. Hope this video was helpful and um, thank you for watching.